Will you guys grab a cow if I spawn one right next to you? I'm gonna try this. Go for him. Please. Oh, come on. I really want you to get the cow. Oh, he's got him. The little baby got the cow. Hey guys, it's Pat and welcome back to another Minecraft video. And today it's gonna be a mod showcase on the Myths and Monsters mod. And guys, what this mod does is it adds a bunch of mobs, bosses, weapons, armor, and all kinds of crazy stuff into Minecraft. Honestly, this mod is epic and I've been waiting to review it for almost a year. They finally updated it the other day and I'm really excited about this one. Hope I'm the first person to show it to you guys because this mod is awesome. And we're gonna get started right here with the mobs that spawn in the forest. And in here, guys, you've got the dendroid. It's super cool. It's like a giant tree that attacks you. You've got a normal dendroid, an elder, a sentinel, and a seer. And some of these actually fight other mobs, which is kind of cool. And keep in mind, since they're trees, they do not like to be lit on fire. It's like a huge advantage, so having flint and steel is going to be really helpful. We'll grab this. We have some mobs for them to fight and take all these and test them out. And as you can see in the chest, there's so much stuff in this mod, guys. It is jam-packed full of awesome content. And we'll get started with the dendroid. So it's like a little tree. It's not very strong. It actually throws sticks at you. Like, why would you do that? That's part of your body, bro. That can't be a good idea. And one cool thing, if they land on the ground, you can actually pick these up. So if you need sticks, this dude is amazing. Like, he has so many sticks. It's like an infinite amount. You kind of just run around in a circle and just pick up all his sticks. So if I kill him here, he's probably going to drop sticks. Yeah, he dropped a bunch more right there. So in total, guys, I got 11 sticks fighting one of those and some dendroid roots, which are for some of the crafting recipes, too. So he is by far the weakest one. So the elder, this dude, you don't want to mess with him. Giant 130 health. If he hits me, he actually is going to launch me into the air, and he's a lot more powerful. But one thing you can do, guys, light him on fire. And once you light him on fire, they actually can't not be on fire. They'd have to go in the water. So he's going to be on fire until he dies. You can actually just like stay really far away from him and watch him burn the entire time if you wanted to. But I do have this awesome weapon we're going to finish him off with. Please stop throwing me. And yeah, one thing you can do is also summon in like a bunch of little dendroids. So you're going to get so much stuff as you kill these dudes. All right, let's finish him off here. And since they're on fire, they're dropping coal. All right, so there we go. Normally what they would drop is wood, but on fire instead they drop coal. So we got 24 coal. We got two roots and 13 sticks from that. The next one is the sentinel. And it looks really mad. Like, I, I don't want to even touch whatever that thing is that's twirling around over there. He's got 220 health. He's got even more sticks than the other dude. You guys have problems. You don't have to throw things at everybody. So we can attack him. He's got a really cool ability that like summons in these tentacles. They're not tentacles. These roots from the ground. And they attack you too. But you can kill them. As you can see right there. And yeah, he's got a lot of sticks. You're going to have so many sticks with this mod installed. It's going to be ridiculous. So you're going down, bro. And one more hit. And as you can see, he summons in a bunch of dendroids too. It's a very common ability in this mod. And let me finish these off. Now, let's see what we got here. He actually dropped one of the weapons. That is cool. The Dendroid Sword, guys. So this does 8 damage. It's pretty cool. I'll show you guys after. And we got so much wood. There's a lot of spruce wood. So killing these guys is going to be very helpful for these items. So we got one more. This one is nice. Finally a nice mob. It's the Seer. He actually looks even more evil. 180 health. So what I'm going to do is spawn in a zombie pig man. He's going to go right after it. After any hostile mob, this dude is going to attack like crazy. So that does mean he is possible for mob battles, guys. So right now, he's just kind of attacking him, twirling that thing around. And the pig man is actually doing pretty good, isn't he? It doesn't hit very hard, as you can see. But he's dead. 36 health left. And I guess what we're going to do is finish him off here. So I'll hit him. And yeah, he does knock you into the air. He seems really mad. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do it. I didn't mean to do it. I apologize. That is a lot of sticks. You have even more than the other dude. All right, he is dead. And as you can see, once again, looks like he dropped that weapon and a bunch of birch wood, even vines. All right, guys, we're back into this chest now. And you can see right here, there's a couple things they didn't drop. The dendroid eye, it's super rare. And it's for one of the things you could craft. And also the bad apple. And trust me, it's, it's not a good apple. It's, it's really bad. So if I eat this, something horrible is going to happen. Yeah, fruit of the devil. Mm. I have hunger, slowness, weakness, mining, fatigue, wither, and nausea. It can't really get much worse than that. And I am dead. You're probably wondering, what is even the point of this apple? And honestly, at first, I thought nothing. But there's some cool stuff you could do. And actually, if you want to, you can craft it. It's going to be dendroid roots and a golden apple in the middle. 
It seems unfair, but trust me, it's actually not. So what you can do with this is you can put fairy dust around it. It drops off fairies and make an enchanted golden apple. But also, what you want to do is make this mask. It's the dendroid mask. To craft that, it's going to be a bunch of roots and also hard leather. And you get that from kind of just putting leather in a furnace. So guys, if I put this on and then eat the apple, better things happen. So let me put this on right now. It's kind of weird, as you can see. I don't know how I can see anything with this on. But I'm kind of like one of the trees. And now if I eat the apple, something good happens. I get speed, night vision, haste, strength, regeneration, and resistance. So, like, when I'm one of the trees, it's amazing effects instead of horrible killing effects, which happened to me before. So, guys, you may have noticed when I ate the apple, I actually got a seed in my inventory, which kind of makes sense, like an apple seed or something. It's called a tainted seed. So, you can use this. It's really cool and really weird at the same time. It must be planted on mycelium, which makes things a little bit more complicated. But you can craft it in this mod, guys. It requires some of the drops from the other mobs, which I'll show after. And yeah, the way it works, if roots are around it, this is going to make no sense right now. A sentinel is going to spawn. And if none are around it, a seer is going to spawn. But yeah, I know that makes no sense. So I am going to put this down and show you guys what I mean. So all I have to do is use some bone meal here. And weird things happen. See, now you guys get it. It's got the roots around it. If the entire thing has roots around it, sometimes it's going to spawn a specific mob. So I'm just going to keep spreading it. And one of the cool features is when it grows, you get experience sometimes, too. And it tends to break the ground and do a lot of weird stuff. So, we're just going to beast it and see what happens here. I'm a little nervous. Don't... Oh, God, there we go. There we go. The Sentinel. The Sentinel is here, guys. It spawned it in. So, that could happen if you grow this. It's really one of the weirder things I've seen before. It seems to be going crazy right now. It just, like, jumped and took fall damage. So now there is experience absolutely everywhere. Like, you can collect this. It's, it's actually pretty awesome. It doesn't grow a normal tree. It only grows those mobs. And then when this happens, it disappears. If you're wondering how much experience we actually got from that, I did check before I planted the sapling, and I had 39 levels. So now I've got 41. Not too bad. I mean, that's a good amount of experience, but that was not a normal seed. That thing was weird. Never seen anything like that before in Minecraft. But guys, the reason it went so crazy is probably because we used bone meal. Normally, you'd get like a couple of roots and not like some insane catastrophe. But it ended with an awesome amount of experience. So now we're actually onto this sword. You guys saw it before it dropped. The dendroid sword. It's got no recipe. It does 8 attack damage. And actually, it's pretty unique too. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out this dude. Get an elder again. And we'll fight him. So I can do a couple different things. If I right click, it actually can throw sticks. So I get like his ability. It's not that powerful, but it's pretty cool as you can see. And of course I can fight with it. And guys, one other thing you can do, which is amazing, is it gives regeneration to you when you're low on health. So I'm going to let this dude just like beast mode me for a minute here. You can just do it. Just keep hurting me. I should be hurt enough now. Look at that. Did you see that? My health went back up like automatically. Will it happen twice in a row? It probably has a cooldown or maybe not. Wow, I'm like unkillable with this thing on. This is so overpowered. Try to hit me. And yeah, look, my health is just going up. I could stand here all day and let this dude hit me, and I'd, like, never die. So definitely very cool. This weapon is awesome. If you kill one of these guys, you've got something amazing. Another really cool weapon you can make is the Dendroid Blade. And this one, it's going to be a root, an eye, which is the rarest drop. I haven't seen it too many times, and a stick. So this one is a little bit different. It could spawn in a good Dendroid to help you. So what we're going to do is take another Elder. We already know those things are freaking evil, and we'll see what happens here. So once again... We're fighting a giant tree. And if I right-click the ground, I get like a little dude that's going to fight him. How cool is that? So right now, he's not even going after me. And I think there's a cooldown. Like, I can't use it again right now. But that's definitely going to help in your fighting stuff. And of course, you know, it is a normal weapon. Does quite a bit of damage when you attack with it, too. The last weapon we're going to check out from these dudes is the Dendroid Chakram. And to make it pretty simple, a bunch of roots around like that. And you get 21, which is a giant number, considering these things usually come back to you. And you'll see what I mean in a second. So I'm going to find something calm, because we've been fighting evil stuff all day. I need, like, a cow to fight. So, guys, what you do is you right-click. It's a projectile, and usually it's going to come back to you. So, cow, you stand right there. And five damage. And it landed right there, so I can pick it back up and throw it back at the cow again. So, kind of cool. It lands all over the place. And I believe they can bounce, too. This is going to fail so bad. I'm going to try to bounce this into the spider. Where did you come from? Where would this spider come from? All right, we'll try to bounce it. That did not work that good. All right, come here. Come here, spider. I've got to try this again. All right, there we go. So, it bounced off the ground. It looks like... Ooh, that was awesome. I think it hit me, actually. But definitely a very unique weapon. There actually is one structure in this mod, and you're going to find it in the forest. 
And honestly, it's not much of a structure. It's like a broken tree. It's the bottom of it, the trunk right here. And dendroids, they can spawn in the middle. And that is really it. Not that exciting. But guys, I did want to show it. And also, I wanted to mention, if you're fighting dendroids in a forest, they do turn leaves into gravel. So it kind of like ruins the look of it. But that is all there is to show here. So we're going to head back and check out some brand new mobs. And these ones, I feel bad attacking them. The golden ram, it looks really cool and it's sad. Like, like I feel like I shouldn't even hit this thing. Check this out. It's like a sheep, but it looks amazing and majestic. It's got 60 health. It does fight back, but barely. Like, right now, it's kind of just, like, staring at me. Let me hit it one more time. And now I've made it mad. So now I've got slowness and nausea. Other than that, it's really easy to kill. And sadly, it's something you got to do. It's important. It drops the golden fleece. It's shining. It's beautiful. And when you get this, you can craft some awesome stuff. So if I use it, I'm going to be able to get golden string. And golden string can make the golden leer, the golden bow. And you can actually smelt it for gold nuggets if you want to. And guys, if you don't want to kill the golden ram, what you can do is actually shear it, which is surprisingly very painful for it. So if you right click it, it's now naked. It looks weird and actually took 20 damage from it. The leer is amazing. So the recipe, it's going to be the golden string, gold ingots, and fairy dust, which drops off fairies. And seriously, this thing is so overpowered. Check this out. So if I right click, it shoots a musical note and it falls asleep. He's not even attacking right now. So yeah, mobs are going to fall asleep and kind of just die. Like, that is so cool. I love this weapon. Probably my favorite one in the mod. And this one, the golden bow, not as exciting. It doesn't have a special ability or anything like that, but it requires golden arrows. And to make this bow, it is going to be gold ingots, golden string, fairy dust, and a dendroid root. And for the arrows, guys... This is a little bit expensive. I mean, these aren't normal arrows. It's glowstone dust, a blaze rod, and fairy dust, and you get eight. So what we're going to do is test this one out. It's pretty normal, though. It does a decent amount of damage. So if I attack with it, 11 damage right there. And I pretty much own the mob. But this one, it puts him to sleep. That is so cool. I love that feature. Next up, guys, we are on to the fairy. Another mob you're going to feel really bad when you kill. So one thing about this is you're supposed to be able to craft a glass jar. It said this on the Minecraft page, but sadly the recipe isn't working for some reason. But it's supposed to be glass and a gold nugget. But keep in mind, this just got updated. It could just be a small bug in this version. So with this, you can actually catch fairies. And trust me, it seems really mean. And it is. It really is. So guys, this is the fairy right here. They don't attack you. They're tiny little things. They've got dead health. And they can drop fairy dust, which is important. Please please come back here. You know, I'm just going to get a bunch. I can't miss if there's like a hundred. So I'm going to kill one. Please drop some dust. I think I've angered them. Yeah, it's like a pig, man. If you attack one, they all go crazy. And what you can do is get your glass jar and try to actually catch one. That, that is not what I wanted to happen. If you miss, it does place it on the ground, which is kind of annoying. So I'm going to try to grab this back. I'm like dying to fairies right now. It'd be like the worst death ever. All right, I've got it. Oh, did I get it? I actually got the fairy. So I did get one. It says angry fairy in there. So there is something you could do with this. Got a bunch of experience. Didn't actually get any dust that time, though. There is one other way to get dust, though. So what we can do here is take some sugar. I'm going to put this down. So this right here is my angry fairy, like, in a jar. It's got, like, a red thing right there. And if I give it some sugar... That's, that sounds so weird saying that out loud. If I give it some sugar. So if I right-click it with sugar, guys... It now should become a happy fairy. The red part, it went away. And now every once in a while, when you right click it, it's going to give you fairy dust. So right now, it's it's not giving me anything. It's got a cool down, but on occasion, you'll get some. And the cool thing about this is you can pick it up and move it around. Like, I could break this, pick it up, use it as like a decoration. And eventually, you can collect a bunch of fairy dust if you're very patient with this thing. Eventually, you'll get yourself some fairy dust. And this can be used for one more thing I didn't show, and that is a fairy mushroom. So basically, a mushroom and a bunch of fairy dust. And then you use two of these with a bowl, and you get a bowl of fairy dust. And this thing, it's pretty much food. I'll show you guys what I mean. So if I eat this, I get some hunger back plus special effects. One of them good and one bad. Get weakness and jump boost. So I could jump around, but sadly, I can't hit as hard. I kind of wish this one lasted a little bit longer since it's pretty expensive, though. And guys, there is one more thing you could do with the fairy dust. It actually works as bone meal. Not really on saplings, but if you're growing, like, a garden or something, just check this out real quick. If you use it, it makes stuff grow. So the grass is going to grow if you have, like, wheat and stuff like that. You can use the fairy dust instead of bone meal. The next mobs we're on to actually don't attack the player, which is cool, and go after mobs. So these ones are called hunters. You got a hunter and an elite hunter, and at the moment, they're kind of a work in progress because they don't spawn in your world, but they're pretty unique because they spawn in with different armor every single time. 
Got one spawned out here right now. This one in gold. Take another hunter. And as you can see, that is not the same thing. It's like a sword from the mod. So we'll get a couple. We'll get an elite one. So the elite dude's got 50 health. Those ones, only 22. And these guys are going to own mobs. So we'll get an elder here. They're just going to go right after him. Look at that giant weapon. It looks so weird when he fights with it. Like, how quick is he moving his hand? It looks so funny. So when they die, they actually do have a chance of dropping their armor. So when they do add this into the mod completely and they spawn in your world, it's definitely going to be worth killing them. So I'm going to kind of just, like, pick a couple off here. See if we can get something. I'm so sorry, hunters. I've got to do this. I wanted that sword. All right, so if I kill a bunch, at least one should drop something, I would think. It's not super common, but come on. Just, just give me something. Gold armor. Oh, there we go. I got pants. I got someone's hand-me-down pants. But they're enchanted, at least. And these ones have unbreaking, too. At least they won't fall apart right away. So, let's see if we can get anything else here. Honestly, wish I got a couple more things to show. Let me spawn in a few more mobs. Sometimes they are in full diamond. Kind of hoping for it. Getting iron. There we go. Okay, so, bro... I really need to borrow that armor. And by borrow it, I mean kill you and steal it. You drop it. Oh, he didn't drop it. They can drop the weapon too. You got the chest plate on. There we go. There we go. So I got a protection one chest plate. So they can drop pretty much any armor and weapons. And they're enchanted too. The next mob we're onto is the sandworm. And this one spawns in the desert. You're not even going to see it coming. This thing is crazy. It goes underground and like burrows up. And yeah, this is it. That is the sandworm. It's going for me right now, actually. It's got 40 health. And I'm going to take it out before it digs. All right, there we go. So we actually got a drop from that. We got a sand scale. And I'm not lying. It really does go underground like that. So now it can come out at any time. I don't know when it's going to happen. So when you're in the desert, something very, very scary can happen. And I kind of just want to wait here. Oh, God. I was going to say wait here until it happens. Just jumped out for a second right there. Let's get a bunch. Let's see what happens here. So this could actually happen to you guys. They literally jump out of the sand, which is weird. It freaks me out a little bit and can't attack you. I'm afraid right now. All right, there we go. So they are attacking me. It is very dangerous if you are in the desert now. I got to admit, this mod has some really cool mobs in it. I mean, the abilities are so epic. They dive underground. They summon in minions and all kinds of stuff. I mean, in some mods, like, they kind of just go up to you and slap you in the face. And it makes it kind of boring. So I was really excited to be able to review this one. And guys, you did notice that the mob did drop some sand scales. It can also drop worm tusks. And that is going to be for the weapon and the armor. So for the tusk lance right here, 8 attack damage, which is pretty good, actually. The recipe is going to be worm tusks, sand scale leather, and also a stick. And to make this special leather, you are going to need 3 sand scales and hard leather. So this weapon is pretty unique too. Like what you do with it, of course, you know, you can attack. You can smack someone with it. But if you hold it back like this, it shoots you forward like you can charge into a mob. So hold it back, let go, and it shoots you forward really quick. So you're going to notice I do get a potion effect like really quick. Resistance 3 for like half a second. So kind of useful if a mob like smacks you as you're charging. And also you can make this chest plate and pants. Sadly, there is no head or boots. But I mean, these make the weapon even better, which I'll show you guys in a second. So for the chest plate, it is going to be a bunch of sand scale leather and some worm tusks. And for the pants, pretty much the same thing like that. So I'm going to grab these both, and you have to put them both on. And you're going to notice there's a difference when you actually use the weapon. So before it gave me resistance 3, now if I use it, check real quick, you actually get strength 2. So you can kind of like charge into an enemy and smack him in the face really quick. So I really like that feature actually. So I'm going to try this out. I'm going to try it. I'm probably going to regret this. You know, let's get something easy that doesn't move around. It's not going to, like, chase after me when I try to charge in. Okay, so I've got a horse. He's at full health. If I smack him, it's going to do 9 damage. So now what I'm going to try to do is charge in and use the strength to... I only have, like, a half a second to do it. It's going to be hard to do. All right, let's go for it. Charge and killed it in one hit. That is awesome. So as you can see, it gives you, like, a charge effect. And then you can take down any mob very fast. All right, the next one is, like, unkillable. This one's got to be a work in progress. I couldn't even kill it in creative, so you know what? We're going back into creative. We have to. This thing is insane. You can find it in a mesa biome. It is called the clay golem. And it can drop, like, clay. Clay balls and also just normal clay blocks. And, guys, this is why it's not killable. There's clay everywhere, by the way, from this thing. So what I'm going to do is try to kill it and show you what happens. So right here, he's got 100 health. He seems crazy. I don't know where he's going right now. Kind of want him away from this area. So I'm going to smack him. And he's going to summon in like little clay dudes. Oh, they might be going after the animals. I did not know that. You guys got to stay away. Stay away, bro. 
So when he gets low on health, he's going to do one very annoying thing. He's going to summon in clay on the ground, and it pretty much instantly heals him back up. And you can't stop it. No matter what you do, he automatically spawns it underneath him. You can't do anything about it. Honestly, I think you need a weapon from another mod that does like 100 damage. You seriously do. Like, you cannot make this not happen. It's ridiculous. Even if you try to fight him in the water. I tried it before. I'll actually show you guys right now. If you try to fight him in the water, it doesn't work either. Maybe spawning him in lava. I still don't think that would work, though. So this is what happens in the water. I'll spawn him in right here. And he's just going to spawn it, like, on top of the water and be stepping on top of it automatically. So I'm going to hit him a couple times once he gets down to about 50. And he just spawned it right there. And right now, yeah, back to full health, kind of. At least getting close. Yep, he's back to full now. So it's like a never-ending cycle. This dude does not die. And I only found one way to kill him. I decided I had to try this. So he's in the lava. I don't, oh, he's not even affected by it. Seriously, what is wrong with you? You don't look that strong. You don't look that strong. It doesn't even hurt him. He can just... It's like a bath for him. All right, so we'll ignore this for now. And guys, this is the only way I figured out how to kill the dude. And keep in mind, I'm in creative. Imagine fighting him in survival. This would be like death. But luckily, there are a lot of mods out there that have some really overpowered stuff. They could probably just take him down really quick, like Aura Spawn, of course. But sadly, that mod is not updated to this version. So yeah, what you can do is get him up really high. Just like knock him off and you're going to die, bro. You can't survive this. There we go. He is dead. And that is how I figured out his drop. So he just drops a bunch of clay and honestly, one of the most overpowered bosses I've ever seen before. I figured I'd toss myself into survival really quick just to show how much damage he does. I mean, honestly, he doesn't hit that hard. I have full diamond on right now. But the thing is, he just doesn't die. And that is why he's so overpowered. Like, he's almost unkillable. Plus, he summons in so many minions, too. And apparently, they even like lava. The next mobs we're on to really don't like each other. One is good, one is evil. You've got the Celestial Ursa and also the Void Ursa. So these guys, they can only spawn at nighttime. So we're going to change it to night. All right, so I'm going to take them. We'll have them fight each other. The Void Ursa is right here. It blinds you automatically if you're close to it. And this one, it's nice. It doesn't fight the player. And it actually gives you night vision for a minute. So they're going to fight each other. And sadly... The weak one is the one that's helpful, so it's going to die. It's got more health, but its defense is just way too high on the other dude. Oh, God, that is bad. Better back up here. It's not good to get night vision, also blindness at the same time, as you can see. What I did is I switched into survival so we could fight the evil one. And this thing is mean. It blinds me. I can see your eyes. I don't like you. I enchanted this sword so it could do more damage. So if it hits me, it doesn't hurt that bad, but I hate being blind. It, it really bothers me. Plus, they teleport. Like, where did it even go? Oh, God. I have spotted it, and we need to take it out. Please don't blind me anymore. Did you seriously teleport again? Come on, you, you can't do that to me. It bothers me. What happened over here anyway? All right, so we need one more hit on this mob. I can't bring in the other one yet because it's going to give me night vision, and then this one will blind me, and I won't be able to see anything at all. Just one more hit, and... It is dead. So we've killed it. That thing is really mean and annoying. Didn't drop anything that time, but it does have some stuff it can drop. And now we're going to kill the, the normal one, not the evil one, the calm one. So this one, normally it's really helpful. I mean, it gives you night vision. I really like that. But sadly, it is worth killing. So we have to, guys. We have to kill it. It doesn't even want to fight me, but it has to. It's got 200 health in. Of course, it does the same thing, but it's really nice to actually be able to see. It's, it's like so obvious looking. It's so weird compared to everything else. You can't avoid this. You must die. All right, there we go. So when this one dies, it's going to spawn in these weird like blue star cores. Random spider just like fell out of the sky there. All right, so when I break these, I get an important item for some crafting recipes. It's actually called the blue star core. There's a couple different things you could do with these cores. And the first one, I mentioned it before, you can actually craft mycelium. So to make this, it is going to be dirt. Bright Stardust and Void Stardust. So to make that, it's going to be a blue star core. It turns into Bright Stardust. And it's going to be the red star core for the other one. So yeah, you can actually craft this, which is kind of cool. And you can make Bottles of Enchanting too with one of these. So if I use the blue star core and make it into the dust, I can take a bunch of glass bottles, Bright Stardust, and a diamond. And I get six, so I can get a bunch of enchantment levels. And this one right here, if I use it, let's see, we can actually make this weapon the Marrow Sword. So this one is going to be Gold Ingots, Void Stardust, and also a Bone. The weapon itself does 8 attack damage, so really good for killing mobs. But one cool thing you can do with it is sacrifice some of your hunger to be healed. So let me just kill these guys. They're like coming out of nowhere right now. Tried to hurt myself and now there's like 50 attacking me. 
So what you can do is hold right click and now my hunger is going down and my health is going up. So really useful. You can't die with this thing. I mean, as long as you've got some hunger and some food, you're going to live forever. The next mob we're onto has got an amazing explosion attack. Sadly, it doesn't drop anything. It's called the hill giant. So I'm going to grab him and we're going to get far away because I don't want this to blow up. I really don't want it to. Sadly, Bombi can't join us, guys. He's just not updated to this version of Minecraft yet, but he would love this mob. It's the hill giant. And yeah, he's, he's scary. He doesn't attack you, which is nice. So what's going on, bro? What's going on? You're going to find him in like a mountain biome. And um, when you attack him, he's going to be pissed. Like you can't really get more pissed than this. So he's got 200 health. He's not going to go down quick. And oh my God, explosions really hurt. So I can use this to heal me. Like that is such a cool weapon. And probably the best way to take him out is a ranged weapon. Because, you know, he, he's far away. He can only explode. He can't get you. But I'm going to go in for the kill here. I'm going to regret this so bad. You know, I didn't. I took this off to take damage. Let me put that back on. All right, Hill Giant. You're going down. Almost got him. Don't kill me. All right, there we go. He is dead. Sadly, he doesn't drop anything. He should drop like TNT or something like that. Like 5, 6 TNT. I think that would be fair. We definitely have killed some evil stuff today, guys. And now it's actually on to something calm. We've got some animals in here, which are really hard to cage in. They jump so high, it's like a crazy rabbit. So this one, it is called the jackalope. There's a frost one and a normal one. And they don't attack you, which is nice. Like, everything so far has been so mean to me. All right, guys. So this one right here is the normal jackalope. It's a cute little, like, bunny deer thing. It's got 10 health. I can kill it. It's mean, but you can kill it. It drops food. I've been eating it the entire mod review. It barely gives any hunger back. It's a bar and a half when it's cooked. So not really worth killing them either. It really isn't. And they're definitely very cool looking. So we've got this one right here. The frost jackalope. I think it looks a little bit better. Cool like blue color to it. And once again, I can kill it. This one does drop something. So instead of the food, you are going to get a jackalope antler and also frost jackalope fleece. And a lot of this stuff you can use to craft stuff. Like the antler, if I use that, I get two bone meal, which makes sense because, you know, an antler is like made of bone. We also have this, the frost jackalope hide. If I use that one, I get an entire set. Like it's the same recipes as normal Minecraft. It's actually pretty good too. So what I'm going to do is toss it on. Let's get this armor off here and see how we look. All right, so now I get some potion effects. I love that stuff. We get speed too and jump boost too. So I'm like a rabbit. I could run and jump around like crazy, which is awesome. Creeper out here. Probably should get rid of him before anything bad happens. I'm sorry, Creeper. I've got no choice. I don't want you blowing everything up. And let me go to survival really quick so we can see how many armor bars it gives us. So yeah, about the same as iron. Not as good as diamond, but it gives you these special buffs, which is cool. Plus with it on, I look pretty epic. You can breed these dudes if you want to. So get a couple frost jackalopes. Get some carrots. They love carrots. Oh, come on. Do you, do you not like this one? I'm sorry. I'll get you a new one. I'll give you a better one this time. They, they jump so high, it's ridiculous. So have a carrot. Stop it's moving so much. All right, there we go. So they're in love, and we should see a baby. Look, it's a, it's a little one. It's so cute. So I can do the same thing with the other one, and then I have to get rid of this crazy rain. It always rains during mod showcases. All right, so you guys get together and jump around. Uh, I don't know what they're doing right now, but there is a baby. Another cool thing you can do is actually name them the name of the mod creators. So they made it special. When you name them that, something different is going to happen. So right here, we got Hoopa Wolf. You have to spell it with these capital letters like that. And UK Decky. So if I use this on them, they're going to change a little bit. So you stay right there. Don't move. Look at his face, guys. And now he looks different. Look at him. He looks so cute now, doesn't he? So you can actually change them and name them either of these, and they're going to change into that model. So I'm going to take it on this dude now. And you can see he has changed as well. The next mob is called the Cetus. And this thing, you're going to find it in the ocean. And trust me, you're, you're not going to like it. You really aren't going to like this thing. It's mean. It's not nice. And look at him. He's right there. He's coming close to me. You know he's not going to do something good. Oh, God. I'm just going to wait here. And yeah, that is not comfortable. Seriously, why would you do that to me? That is not nice. I don't like this. So I'm going to kill him. You got to smack up, of course. Finish him off. That's such a weird mob. So you're going to be swimming through the ocean and one's going to attach to your head. The next one we're on to is another pet you can breed. And it's the Wolper Tiger Tinger. I have no idea. It's a pet though. And it's, it's pretty cool looking too, guys. Sorry if I have no idea what I'm saying with this name here. So you breed this one with golden carrots. So it's, it's very special. It can actually pick up mobs too. And even you. So this thing, it looks awesome, doesn't it? It's got 10 health. And um, let me get a second one here. And then I'm going to give you guys some golden carrots. And make a baby for us. It should be really, really tiny, I would imagine. Where, where's the baby? I know it's around here somewhere. 
Oh, there it is. And did you seriously pick me up? So right now, he is making me ride it. I've got no choice. I didn't want to ride him. He literally picked me up like this. I can't control him or anything like that. But if you hold left shift, it will take you off. And they're going to constantly try to pick you up. Put me down. Put me down. Seriously. Seriously. Okay. Okay. Stay away from me. You're weird. You're very weird. And you can do the same thing with these things, guys. You can name them like Hoopa Wolf, and they're going to change like their model again. So I'm going to give this to you. And once again, they have changed. Oh, see, come on. Come on. Do you, you have to do that? You look weird now. I thought you looked better before. You look freaky. Freaks me out a little bit, Hoopa Wolf. All right. So, yeah, these things are pretty cool. They can grab mobs as well, I believe. We can try that out. So let me see if they'll grab a cow. Will you guys grab a cow if I spawn one right next to you? I'm going to try this. Go for him. Please. Oh, come on. I really want you to get the cow. Oh, he's got him. The little baby got the cow. Oh, my God. The baby picked up the cow. That is so funny. So they can pick up pretty much anything. I don't know if it's possible, guys. Maybe they can try to pick up Mobzilla, but Mobzilla would definitely kill them in one hit. And, yeah, that is really, really weird right there. Sadly, guys, you need to kill this mob. It drops something very important. I feel bad doing it. I mean, the mobs are so cool in this mod. And some of them, they don't attack you, but you have to kill them for the epic items. And this one, it's going to drop a whooper antler and also leather. And if you use this, you're going to be able to get the materials for the bone dagger. So it's going to be three antlers and two bones. And this only does four attack damage, so it doesn't sound like super powerful. But it does give the wither effect. And the way it works is weird. Like, if you're closer to a mob, it's going to last longer. So horse, I'm going to try this on you. From here, it shouldn't give the wither effect. So nothing. But if I'm like, like humping him, if I'm humping you, I'm trying to do this. Stop moving. It's going to give the wither effect. So the closer you are, the more damage it's going to do and the longer it's going to last. So let me try to get really close in there. And I got three seconds. I think the most you can get is like four. I'm like really close to this cow right now. Try to get closer. All right, two seconds. But yeah, the way it works is basically if you're closer, the wither effect is going to last longer. All right, guys, the next mob we're on to is called the Kitsune. And this one is pretty much a fox, and it's got a really cool ability. But I feel so bad. It doesn't attack you, and it's, like, the cutest thing ever. Like, how could you fight this? It's got 30 health, and I'm so sorry. But I'm going to use this on you. Let me just get really close. Wither effect. So, yeah, once you hit it, it gets mad. Does some damage, and when it gets low on health, it does something pretty cool. So we'll lower it down, and it turns into three clones. I love that. All right, so we got to take these out. And yeah, it drops important stuff again. It seems like everything does, so you must die as well. Oh, we got any drops? Who's hitting me right now? It's like an invisible one or something. All right, guys, so what they can actually drop is the Kitsune Tail. And you can eat this. It's, it's like a food, sort of. I think there's like a clone like that's invisible or something attacking me. I'm freaking out right now. Get further away. This kind of looks like ice cream, but it's a tail. This is not ice cream that's sparkling, guys. It's not. So what I can do is I can eat this, and it gives you experience. So I went up a ton of levels. Wow, all the way up to 53 from that. So definitely worth killing them for experience. You can enchant all kinds of stuff. And guys, another thing about the Kitsune is it really doesn't like wolves at all. So if you have a wolf pet, probably don't put it next to this, because this is what's going to happen. It actually goes after and tries to kill it, and the Kitsune is stronger than a wolf, so it's going to die a horrible death. And yeah, that could be your pet right there, guys. We are on to the last mob. And this one, it's a work in progress. It's called the Drop Bear. It really doesn't do much at the moment. I believe he climbs on your head. He's like a mouse. Like a really messed up looking mouse. Seriously, does everything have to do this to my face today? Does everything have to do this? So I killed him. He doesn't drop anything at the moment. But a work in progress mob. And yeah, guys, that is about all there is to show with this one. It adds in so much epic content. If you guys want to check it out, the download, as always, is in the description. And if you enjoyed the review and the commentary, be sure to smash that like button. It means so much to me. And subscribe if you're new to the channel. And I will see you next time for another Minecraft video.